Hello everyone, welcome to another card video. My name is Corinne Wiskman. Today we are going to make a light up card for the new year. It's like a firework inspired card. Um, I did this technique before where you where you poke holes in your card. <sighs> It's very therapeutic. We are gonna use Pear Blossom Press Halo Lights to do this. I've totally done this before. And I learned a fun trick from my friend Tana. Keep this little battery piece to put in your card so that the battery doesn't die when you send your light up card. It's genius. I kinda know what I'm doing, but I really don't. So we're, we're winging it. Um, I know I want to do a ink blended background of a night sky because fireworks duh, are at night. So a typical night sky for me is dark blue and black. So that's what I went for. Chipped sapphire, black soot with a little hickory smoke thrown in. Um, I'm gonna start with the gray cardstock this time. Eh, I don't know, we'll see if it works. So I have some inks. We're gonna start with fog. We're gonna start with a light gray cardstock. I really wanna just play around. I just wanna play, have a little fun, make a little dark night sky, sorta, I don't know. I truly enjoy using these stencil brushes. These are from Tonic Studios by Nouveau. Um, they've since improved them, but I still like using them. Also my Ranger ink blending tools. I'm kind of going with both right now. I'm starting with the Hickory Smoke and then moving on to the chipped sapphire and then the black soot. It still looks really blue to me. So I went like really heavy with the chipped sapphire. Um, I kind of wanted it to be darker, like more of a night sky, but I don't think it was too bad. Um, it does take some time to build up the color, but this is what we're working with here. Kind of looks like a night sky. Do we want clouds? Yes. These clouds are from a layered rainbow stencil from Simon Says Stamp, but I love these flat bottom clouds. I just really like the look of them. I'm using some pumice stone, which is a light gray ink, but on that dark cardstock, it just kind of comes through as a dark cloud in the background. And that's exactly what I was going for. I'm going to attempt to hot foil the back of this. I haven't done that yet, so. I mean, I can easily recreate this. Let's do it. And by easily, I mean tomorrow when my shoulder stops hurting. I have this really cool plate from Pink Fresh Studio. It's just a flat foil plate so that you can foil die cuts or use the negative pieces of your foil. This is how I'm currently storing my hot foil rolls in this Amazon container. Um, I will leave a link for it down below. It fits the hot rolls perfectly. I'm just using the, the Spellbinders roll that came with my Glimmer machine. Sometimes these rolls can be a little bit tricky to cut or to even work with at all. So I've found that this EK Success tool, the slice tool, which isn't really great at cutting paper, but I have found it is perfect for cutting foil. And my glass craft mat is exactly perfect to work with it. So it's a little ceramic cutting blade and it cuts your foil like butter. I have learned from watching some videos that you want to make sure that your foil doesn't extend over the design too much because you'll get over foil. Now pay close attention here. I have this wrong, okay? the fancy foil piece is in the wrong position. And here you will notice what happens when you don't have the foil facing the right direction. You will foil the hot foil plate instead of your paper. That's not right. Hot. You know, 
when you think you had it right the first time, so this time you feel like maybe you screwed it up again because you thought you had it right the first time? <sighs> That's me right now. Okay, well, it's not stuck to the plate. That's a bonus. Yay! I mean, it's not perfectly foiled. I probably needed to give it more pressure and, and maybe clean my plate, but it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna do what we want it to do. So I've created like a little template on my Silhouette Cameo using a SVG file that I bought off of Silhouette Design Store. I did do a screen recording of how I put this together, but really it's just a template so that I can keep that kind of firework shape more easily. So it's not intended to be cut out and used like this. I'm, I'm gonna poke out holes on my panel here so that I can make fireworks. I went to the Silhouette Design Store and I searched fireworks and I found an SVG file that was the shape that I wanted to create. I set up a rectangle the same size as my card panel and then sized the fireworks to what I wanted the card panel to end up looking similar to, I guess. Then I have my Silhouette Cameo cut out the little holes and I'm here with my piercing tool and my piercing mat and I'm just piercing away and my hand does get tired but some tips here you want to make sure that the hole does puncture all the way through and that it's a little bit bigger I, I was trying to make the hole small so that it was less significant to your eyeballs but really the light needs to shine through so here's what it looks like at this point I did run into a little bit of trouble with the smallest firework because the holes were so close together. So just be aware of that if you're trying to re recreate something like this. Um, I have Happy 2022 cut out from some forever loved Your Next Stamp dies. I've cut them out four times and layered them all together, typically like I do on every single card I practically make. Do you love my skull dish? Yeah, I do too. It's from Twiddler's Nook. It has grippies on the bottom that grip to my glass mat. <laughs> all right, let's hope this all goes together okay. The problem that I have with this card in the end is that you can't really see the light shine through the small holes. You have to make a big enough hole in your card front to let some light shine in. I had, had attempted to put some vellum card, vellum behind it to maybe change the color of the light shining through, but that totally didn't work. I'm just adhering my halo light on uh, another three and a half by four and three quarter panel that's going to live behind the foiled panel. Now I know that light is going to escape from wherever the foil did not touch on that panel. I know this. The foil acts as a barrier between the halo light shining through and your eyeballs. So wherever the foil did not touch the back of that cardstock, it's going to shine through the front. You can't tell with the lights on. Had to turn the lights off to get any kind of video representation of this, but it, it still wasn't very good to show you. I promise you, you can see the light with your eyeballs. While I have this off of the background, I'm gonna sp spray it and spritz it a little. I mean, if it's not gonna function properly, let's make it pretty at least. <laughs> have you guys seen the bling palette? It comes in this cute box. You get a bling ring box. This is a ring that also acts as a watercolor palette and it is perfect for splattering. Oh my goodness, is it perfect for splattering? And this holographic watercolor is just the touch I needed to make me happy with this card. This holographic watercolor is so pretty and it's really holographic and it changes color so well. I'm gonna go wash my hands while that dries. So at this point, I've made the holes 
in the front a little bit bigger so you can definitely see the light shine through. Maybe not so much on video, but with your eyeballs, you totally can. I also ink blended a little bit more over top of those holes to hide them a little bit more from your eye, just so that when you're looking at it, you don't see a bunch of holes in your card. I like it. In the end, I'm happy the way that it turned out. And it is so super shiny, of course it's not coming up. Well, at least it's shiny and pretty. I know it's not coming up on this video, but I'll take a still photograph. You can totally fix this light leakage by foiling the back of your card panel. I left it because it looks like real firework debris. So I thought it was pretty cool <laughs> because it does really look kind of pretty. So um, I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Find Pear Blossom Press. Find me on social media. I love interacting with you and being all social and stuff. So say hi to me in the comments. Tell me how my card looks or not. Maybe I don't want to know that. <laughs> I hope you guys had a fantastic 2021. Let's be real here. 2022 has to be better. It just has to. What? You can't like just tell the person to go stand in the dark closet to look at their card? I mean, we do that with glow-in-the-dark shirts all the time. <laughs>